Assalamu alaikum. This is a question on behalf of a non-Muslim brother. His name is Swami Nadin. He's completed his uh, bachelor's in information technology. And his question is, why is the Islamic world so sensitive to criticism? And why does Salman Rushdie or a European cartoonist receive death threat, the practice of fatwas to be more precise? Isn't there a better way to react to this? There should be. So this is also a good question on behalf of a non-Muslim brother that why are Muslims so sensitive to criticism? And in reference to Salman Rushdie, why are you so sensitive to criticism? Sister, every individual is sensitive. You show me one human being in the world who is not sensitive. But the sensitivity keeps on changing. The sensitivity keeps on changing. Certain things you are sensitive, certain things you are not. So everything, the levels keep on changing each different individual. As far as the Muslims are concerned, we Muslims, we love our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we love our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that no Muslim is a Muslim until he loves Allah and his messenger more than his own self. Loves Allah and his messenger more than his own self. Now when we analyze the human being, some of the human beings love their children the most. There was research done that monkeys, they love their children very much. So the monkey was put in a well along with the child and water was put. Water started rising up in that well. So the monkey picked up the kid and put it in the arms. The water rose. It tried to save the child as much as the water kept on rising. Once it could not, it left the child and jumped out. So they loved the child a lot, but own life is more than the child. So left the child because the monkey could not jump along with the child. Just experiment. Similarly, people like the children, they like their own life, etc. But as far as the Muslims are concerned, we love Allah and His Messenger more than ourselves. For example, if you abuse me, I would not like it, but I would not mind it. I would not like it, but I would not mind it. Okay, no problem. But if you abuse Allah and his messenger, I would feel more hurt. It is not sensitive, it is because they are the closest to me. So to the Muslims, Allah and the messenger are the closest. Even closer than our children, closer than our wives, closer than our husband, closer than our own life. So that's the reason what you should say. Your question should be reframed. That why do the Muslims love Allah and the Messenger so much? You tell me one human being. You get the human being. If you abuse him, you will If you abuse on his mother, he'll get angry. If you abuse on the name of the mother, they get angry. So we love our Allah and our Messenger more than our mother also. So based on these things, the Muslims, they want to clarify. So when Salman Rushdie, being a so-called Muslim in order commerce, born in a Muslim family, when he wrote book and criticized falsely just for a few, you know, just for money. So that's the reason the Muslims objected. You say, are there any better ways? There are many ways of objecting. I don't agree that all the ways the Muslims objected are right. Many a time they destroyed property which is wrong. I don't agree with it. But they are sensitive because it deals with our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala messenger. But we should feel bad. But some of them overreact. Some of them took out protest, which are violent, which should not be. Some were peaceful, which is good. Best is to reply. And if you hear my talk on, is religious fundamentalism a stumbling block to the freedom of expression? I've given details. What did Salman Rushdie do? And how did he write the book? And the first country that banned the satanic verses was which country? India. Sri Rajiv Gandhi, at that time, was the prime minister. He banned that book, Satanic Verses, in India. The first country to ban it. And I appreciate him. But unknowingly, he did not know that in that same Satanic Verses, Besides speaking bad about Prophet of Islam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he even spoke bad about Sita and Ram. 
Sri Ram, which people, when they read the book, they may not realize, they just superficially read it. And imagine, I'm asking the question to the British government. A few years back, there was an American author, writer, who uses a four-letter word for Margaret Thatcher's policies. Margaret Thatcher's policy. Four-letter word, father, uncle, cousin, king. And they banned him from coming to UK. Why? He uses the four-letter word. This Salman Rushdie, he uses the same word and makes it active, I-N-G, many times for the British policy, for Margaret Thatcher, and he calls her, you know what, in his book, Maggie the Bitch. No, fine. If you say, maybe the British are bold, they wouldn't mind. But imagine if you meet the son of Margaret Thatcher and tell him that Salman Rushdie called you a son of a bitch. What will he do? He will hammer you. So everyone is sensitive depending upon what the sensitivity is. Imagine the same British government which banned another American author for using a four-letter word, allows Salman Rushdie. Why? The reason is why? Because he abuses our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So because he abuses the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they can digest the same four-letter word for Margaret Thatcher because he abused the Prophet of Islam. So this is how the policies keep on changing. So what we realize that in Islam, there is freedom of expression, the freedom of speech, but it should not go beyond the limit. It should not hurt anyone. And it should be with proof. If it hurts anyone and if it's logical and proof, it's different. But you cannot malign anyone. Maligning and backbiting is not allowed in Islam. So based on that, the Muslims, because Salman Rushdie, he maligned and he abused our Prophet Muhammad that's the reason the Muslims felt bad and the agitated, which agree with it. And if we analyze in most of the religions, the punishment for blasphemy is high. Whether you read the Bible, whether you read the Hindu scriptures, whether you read the Quran, and this we consider as blasphemy, that's the reason the Muslims were angry and we were sensitive because he spoke against to something which we love much more than our life. Hope that answers the question. Why did he choose to bring you into this world in Islam and so many others in a different religion? So, so that means he's being partial from the birth.